Hi, friends. Welcome to Mouseite Smart Workplace Utilization Webinar. We are so happy to have you with us today. This is Jessica from Mouseite. Okay, let's dive in. The business workplace has changed greatly in the past decade. The traditional eight-hour workday with all employees sitting at their desks has changed. Workplaces, no matter the large enterprises or the small startups, now they have a new style, anywhere, anytime. As a result, more and more people find their expensive office uh, space. The expensive office space is sitting unused. But do you know the real estate is just the second highest up operating expense for our employers, for our bosses, behind the people's wages and salary? Why? Because the on-site employees they want access to big enough workplace, whether they work in office every day or just come into the office for a few days a week to attend meetings. Or cooperate with other colleagues for a task. Well, for companies, they struggle with a balance. What kind of balance? That is con、uh, contracting space efficiently, and at the same time creating a productive and comfortable work environment. So, in 2021, it's never been more important to understand how your office space is actually being used. So, good data. And real-time space utilization analysis with a sustainable technology are critical for utilizing workspace to its fullest potential. And during this presentation, I will walk you through the challenges we are facing in office space utilization, and why utilization data matters now more than ever before. And find most typical. And popular applications that are closely related to space occupancy in your office or in your building, and how can we solve them? How can we solve the challenge with the IoT technology? And finally, check a solution including Milesite VS One Twenty One, and why Milesite after comparing with some other technologies in the market. So this webinar will take about thirty minutes totally. What is space occupancy and utilization? In simple words, space utilization is a measurement is a measure of how many people use a space compared with how many it was designed for in the first beginning. And when looking into space utilization, you may come across the word space occupancy. It refers to the capacity of a specific area and the number of individuals physically present within that area. An occupancy system it should alert you whenever the individual's number is changed in a specific zone. For example, when you want to create a more collaborative environment for employees by combining the marketing and sales department together, you'd like to find out how many desks you can safely fit into an open plan office. And how to manage that space with mobile and on-site employees in mind. To get to the right answer, you will have to consider various metrics, such as the occupancy rates, such as the peak usage times, the density, and so on. And I think the occupancy, the sensing technology, that it can indeed, it indeed help you collect the data twenty-four by seven. And help the facility managers, the leaders, to truly understand how their space is being used. As part of a comprehensive plan for the employees' safety and well-being, occupancy counting sensors are visible and effective tool. Um, this kind of device, the counting sensors, to tell you stuff、um, that you are taking their health and well-being seriously. Sensors can be used in the following ways. They can show the specific areas of your building, like cafes, meeting rooms, uh, gyms, uh, co-work areas, and floors, are safe to enter based on their real-time capacity. So the social distancing policy can be maintained, which is especially important in this post-pandemic period. 
and in other places, uh, use the occupancy counting sensors to indicate when meeting rooms are free, booked, or have just been used. Will help cleaning staff、uh, to see at a glance where their efforts are needed. And the benefits for employees will be even greater. You know, they can find a freshly cleaned available room、um, that to walk in without any worries about their safety. And even when we take the pandemic out of out of this picture, you know, this occupancy technology can also help employees to improve how they plan their loot while at work, while they are staying in the office, such as. Find available meeting rooms, such as grab the lunch or use the workplace jam facilities, in a quiet time in the last business hours, which are great help to their workplace experience and boost their productivity. Right? And to understand how your professional real estate space is utilized. Is important in order to use it efficiently. It's essential to minimize the wasted capital. But are you maximizing its full potential? Do you have too much space, or too little space, or even the right kinds of space for your needs? I think when we start up a new office, or when we replant available space. The task of ensuring available space by monitoring, by monitoring the desk, by monitoring the meeting room、uh, utilization, I think that could be a very big challenge for many facility managers. And according to some studies, the facility and office managers are overspending on their office space, as they don't have the 24 by 7 space utilization monitoring data. And without accurate data about how your space—it doesn't matter if it's the work points, or just the project areas, or breakout space, or meeting rooms—it doesn't matter if you don't have、um, the data. If you don't know how they are being used day to day, it's not possible to manage a portfolio efficiently. And I think the negative, the bad results are waiting. For you ahead, like wasting space, same as wasting money, and also increasing the carbon footprint. The carbon footprint due to unnecessary energy, due to the unnecessary HVAC light usage, when the workplace is unused or unoccupied. And sometimes the challenge even comes from the unsatisfied employees. Your commercial property, no matter is rented, whether is rented or you own it, is a essential business asset. is the most important place where people working together. The effective utilization of your working space influence, influence affects your employees' productivity and finally influence your company's profitability. So, could you make changes to improve the user experience? Could you boost their productivity, or better control how energy is used within your building when they feel not comfortable? And perhaps, more importantly, do you have the objective? Do you have the scientific data? You need to make these strategic decisions. Having detailed information on how many people occupy a given space at different times of day, for example. Can make better decision on the allocation of valuable real estate resources. A certain part of your office building seems overcrowding at a certain time. And could a rarely used meeting room be put to better use? I think we need to always think about those kind of questions when we、uh, replan our available space or we restart a new office. Before we jump into mile side solution, let's see how to select the right solution for your business. I think there are many different types of sensors and solutions on the market for the occupancy detection,、uh, such as the lighting sensor, the PIR sensor, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, the thermal people counters, CCTV cameras, the passive infrared sensor on the desks. 
And also, you can find the Lola One based AI workplace sensor, like the Milesight VS121, is the computer vision sensor. So our suggestion is, why not evaluate through below questions, through this kind of questions, such as, is it user friendly? How fast it can be installed in case of massive deployment? Are they one-off payment, or is ongoing cost? There's ongoing payment in the future. Are there any privacy concerns if it detects people? Is the solution scalable? Because I just want to roll it out with my most important areas today and add more points later. Does it integrate with other systems easily, such as Lightning, such as HVAC, the indoor air quality system? Are there any security risks in my office network? And I don't want to spend much resources to maintain it、uh, in the future of the deployment. So, this kind of questions、uh, we need to take into consideration when we evaluating a solution, right? So here I listed the most popular technologies that used for occupancy detection. Their prices vary very much according to different vendors. So let's quickly touch on their features at first. The lightning sensor, lightning solutions can capture data only when the sensors are triggered to put lighting on. So it means energy saving, right? Much energy saving, but the data is not detailed enough. It tells you people are there in that area, but how many you don't know, and it is very complicated to add more sensors or install a new lighting system for future business expansion. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, they are working in a very similar way through a radio signal. I think you are checking devices, not checking people. This means the data is not as rich or accurate as you thought. A very common example here, it would be when some some people leaves their mobile phone at their desk and goes to a meeting. Right, you are not able to capture how many people are really using a specific area in your office, and people need to do something. They need to. Uh, to do something in order to capture data, like they need to carry a device all the time that actively looking for the Wi-Fi, or a device with Bluetooth Bluetooth switch on, and with a certain app installed. So it's not so user friendly if you have some visitors, if you have some、um, customers visiting your office. And I think the privacy concern is the prior to other factors when you, when you evaluate in the CCTV camera solution, because many solutions require to access into the raw image feeds for checking. So that's very much、um, privacy concerns, and also the security is another factor. And from the installation perspective. People people need to prepare. They need to prepare the Ethernet cable for the data transmission, or through the cellular network, and pay for every data flow. So every time you send a data through the cellular 4G, 3G, you need to pay for that transaction. Considering it's a long-term operations, it's very expensive. And the passive infrared sensor on the desk sensors, they are also widely used in some small companies already. But if you have ten thousand employees, you need ten thousand sensors on the desks, which means a very big investment. Although its unit price is not high, and besides that, the data isn't useful as well, because sensors are fixed to furniture, they are fixed to desk. If you want to know the usage of pension room, if you want to know the usage of hallways, coffee rooms, you have to find other solutions. And the last one is the thermal sensor. The thermal signals it can be blocked by furniture, 
its range is smaller, much smaller than other technologies. And the biggest issue for the thermal sensors is its detection data can also be unreliable and inaccurate. Why? If there are a lot of thermal activities, like if you are accompanied by a dog, a cat, or walking laptop, thermal sensors they may probably confuse this kind of activities as a person. Okay, that's all of the most popular technologies for the、um, for the occupancy detection in the market. As we always say,、uh, you can. You cannot have your cake and eat it too. So, in my side, we choose the most advanced technology, the computer vision tech, for the higher recognition rate. And for other side, AI vision tech requires stable power supply for the long term operation. It cannot be completely wireless deployment. But there's no ongoing cost because you don't need to buy any batteries. Okay, let's go further about this VS one twenty one sensor. Here is a very short video. We built a fully integrated device, and all the algorithmic calculations are done on the device. And again, we are analyzing the anonymous data, completely anonymous data, and all that is then sent up to our cloud, or we present that data to you through our Lorawan gateway. Let's see what included in this package. First, you can find an AI workplace sensor, a warranty card. Type C cable, power adapter, a piece of quick install guide, and accessory of mounting keys. It's not battery powered, by the way. It's wall powered through Type C. It doesn't connect to the internet directly, but sends small counting data through Lola One through this LP One tag to the Lola One gateway, and it's pretty easy to actually add more devices. To the network, along with your business expansion, and different from other low level one sensors from my side, that scan the QR code, scan or take use of the NFC technology to activate. This device support Wi-Fi 2.4G accessing. Due to the ceiling installation, I think it's more convenient to configure device through Wi-Fi. And enabled wireless network connection on your computer, and search for the corresponding access point. Then you can go on the configuration over the web GUI. And device has a length of 85 millimeters, a width of 85 millimeters as well, at a depth of 20 millimeters, and weighing about 130 grams. We suggest to install this device. On the ceiling above any area you wish、uh, to monitor. And by the way, there are two colors here you can find:、uh, white or black enclosure box, as well as the same color Type C cable. So customers 
always want to have one more choice. And we make a difference by several ways. Uh, AS121, this mild side VS121 is a new kind of AI vision sensor that enables completely passive data capture while still uh, protecting the privacy and the data security of your business. And designed from the ground up to be anonymous and secure, the sensor doesn't record, it doesn't save, or doesn't send any image, image files at any time, okay? And we are GDPR compliant. GDPR compliant is very useful for European market. And we are super enthusiastic about the people uh, who want to be sensitive with their employees data. So that's ground up um, privacy concern. But here you can see this picture from the air view is only for settings It's only for initial configuration. Um, you can set the parameters uh, like the brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, etc. in that exact exact environment to better recognize the individual figure for counting only. It's only for settings. Don't worry. It won't be stored, saved or transferred. And some of you may wonder how can we use it to manage and check in open areas, uh, both open settings and workstations, right? Well, this sensor is threshold base. We have used it to trace open areas by essentially creating the abstract thresholds. They are similar like the doors. Through AI machine learning, I mean, we wrote a script or algorithm that essentially analyze people moving through that threshold. And in the same way, a human could spot uh, what a person is as opposed to like what a desk is, what a dog is, and then watch that person go through a threshold, uh, go through that door. If it's successfully, it tells our server that account just happened. And after deployment, these sensors then use the AI machine learning to process quantity information about people movements in real time. So AI running at the edge on the sensor itself, I mean, and simultaneously at the same time process people's recognition through people's head and their two shoulders and make that exact number in real, in real time. This process happens in nearly real time with updates delivered um, to a customer analy analytics platform uh, whenever the quantity changes. And this means users, they can monitor life movement and space utilization across their property in real time. And another key difference between mild side AI vision sensor and other sensors in the detection area, the device has a scope view of about uh, six by eight meters and a height of measure of three meters or up to 78 square meters in a circle if the radius is five meters. So its operating range uh, of minus five to plus 55 degrees Celsius. I think the industry's simplest and the most affordable solution, the space occupancy and indoor environment monitoring solution, is an all-in-one start kit from my side. Let's see how it works. The VRRIA's LOL1 sensors are widely deployed in different areas in different rooms, and LOL1 gateway listens to the LOL1 signal from the VRRIA's endpoints. AI workplace sensor generates the accurate data from any number of locations to show you how your workplace is being used in real time. And if you work this AI workplace sensor with other load one based sensors, like the smart socket sensor, the water leak detection sensor, 
the PIR and the light sensor, magnetic contact switch sensor, and 9-in-1 indoor air quality sensor, and smart button. All this kind of load one sensor together, then you can easily control the lights, computers, projectors, IP phones, air conditioning systems. Or the video conferencing systems,、uh, according to the meeting room, according to the desk occupancy situation. And finally, the Mileside IoT Cloud Platform. It provides insights and intelligence. It easily displays the exact number for all deployed sensors, and prepares it for reporting whenever you want. And also to carry the commands back to the endpoints through the Lolo One gateway. That's the whole solution. How it works. And also there are another channel for integration and reporting、uh, via the API or the MQTT, HTTP, HTTPS、uh, via the Lolo One gateway. If customer needs to integrate with other management platforms like the building management systems. HVAC and lighting control systems, and meeting room booking systems. For example, you can maintain a safe work environment by monitoring the occupancy level in real time and automatically control occupancy with a configurable occupancy limit in your live occupancy monitoring system. And through the open APIs of Lolo One Gateway, all the data forwarding through the Uh, protocols like I said, the MQTT, HTTP, HTTPS, to any third party's system, then you can get even greater value,、uh, additional functionality, and improved occupancy experience. Data is visualized on dashboard and also on your mobile app, and you can identify. The chances, the opportunities to improve space, the space、uh, efficiency, and the overall workplace experience. The simple and intuitive dashboards enable the very quick analysis of both real-time and historical data, empowering you with the objects, the objects in size、uh, you need for the strategic decision making. And finally, how can we use our office space more efficiently? Many customers asked this question, and I think it's one of the hardest to answer. And data tells the whole space utilization story. But you know, sometimes clients they expecting too much or not enough from the final platform in terms of developing actionable data. I think it really depends on the decision. That people are trying to make, it's not as simple as getting all of this. I think where people don't have the right expectations, is thinking all utilization data is just utilization data, and is another thing they can just check off. And if they have checked that off,、uh, whether it's people going around、uh, with a with a.、Um, With a clipboard or through other types of sensors, then they are good, and then from there they can make decisions. So I think the expectations about about that how being kind of something that need to be more refined to the specific problem that they are trying to solve, and then what are you need in terms of re- respecting things like accuracy and. And anonymity, you know, accuracy and anonymity, and then the business results that you need. So I hope the Mileside solution, that information today, can give you a peace of mind. And here is our upcoming new products. The new product officially launched a M three hundred series Lolo One. The indoor ambience monitoring sensor is a nine in one sensor that you can monitoring、uh, temperature, humidity, TVOC,、uh, formaldehyde,、uh, carbon dioxide, TVOC, PM two point five, PM ten. Okay,、uh, up to ten different parameters you can you can monitor at the same time in this. All in one device, and if you order in samples now, you can enjoy the fifty percent off discount.
based on the sample price. So, uh, more details you can contact with your sales representative here. Okay, that's all for today's webinar. So, thanks very much uh, for your time. So hope to see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.